so we are back from Jungle Gyms and Gizmo is very happy that we are home. Uh, it is the weekend of 4th of July, so there are a lot of fireworks going on and he is very unhappy about all of that. So he's glad we're home. But I wanna show you exactly what we got. So this is the Olive Pit. Uh, there are probably dozens, there are dozens of types of olives uh, that they have for sale. And um, during COVID they've got them all in individual packages so you can just grab a package uh, which is awesome uh, this is a picture of the bakery items so there are lots of cheesecakes and um, cream puffs and all kinds of deliciousness here that i can't eat because they all have gluten cannolis uh, cheesecakes more cheesecakes carrot cakes all kinds of yumminess um, they do have lots of macarons uh, of all different kinds and flavors and here is a picture of Ohio State Buckeyes, uh, which Ohio is known for. Uh, they are a delicious chocolate candy with peanut butter in the center, if you've never had them. They are a big deal in Ohio, and so having a giant selection of them makes perfect sense for Jungle Gyms. Here is a picture of all of the amazing macaron types that they carry. So everything from a lemon poppy seed to a black currant raspberry chocolate pistachio strawberry oh my gosh but i refrained from any of those sweet treats because i got plenty of other sweet treats we did eat our dinner kind of on our way home in the car we pulled over and, and had a little car picnic so uh, here's a picture of some uh, antipasto salad that i got uh, it had all kinds of like meats and pepperoni salami olives uh, a little bit of red onion peppers mushrooms all delicious. Here is a picture of the cheese spreads that I got. Uh, Jungle Gyms makes them there. So I got an olive cheese ball, a beef and onion cheese ball, and a white cheddar cheese ball. The white cheddar was phenomenal. One of the best cheese balls I've ever had. This is the cheesecake that Matthew got. Um, he said it was very, very good. This is a picture of the cream puff. Yum. Obviously, I didn't eat it, but Matthew will enjoy it. Here's a picture of some veggies that I got because I was buying a whole bunch of crap and felt like I needed a little bit of vegetation in my life, as well as these carrot, um, pickled carrots, which I love this Oh Snap brand. Um, they're so good for travel when you just need a quick something. And the whole package of carrots only had 20 calories, which I think is amazing. So they're definitely very vinegar heavy, which is what you would expect in kind of a pickle so so good so here is our jungle gyms haul not including the dawn we are in our tiny apartment still so bear with us um but this is everything we got and believe it or not we still managed to spend almost 200 dollars. so way to go um we'll start down here this is a aged cheddar cheese that we got for matthew um it's a canadian black cheddar uh it looks really good i'm sure it will be uh, Matthew is also a huge fan of the white chocolate, so we got him two white chocolate bars. This one from Switzerland that is a white chocolate with bourbon vanilla. And then a Belgian white chocolate, so we'll see if those are any good. Uh, this is not a food item, but Jungle Gyms has a wide variety of things, um, home goods. So these are kind of like honeycomb -y. They're very, very squishy, which is awesome. So they serve as uh, like oven mitts, but then you can also use them as a trivet. So I got two of those. I'm sure they will come in very handy. Uh, this is a gluten-free carrot cake that I picked up there. Tina's Sweet Treats. Yum. <clears throat> I'm most excited about these uh, gluten-free and vegan lemon cookies. Lemon shortbread cookies. So excited to give those a whirl. And then had to get the gluten-free pumpkin bar, even though it is seasonally seasonally inappropriate but still very excited about all of the frosting on the side of that thing here is the cream puff that matthew got yum um i also got some sugar snap peas we have the o snap brand um at our grocery but they do not have the sugar snap peas or the carrots so i went ahead and grabbed those because i don't have the opportunity to get them very often plain old boring lutino crackers but i had those with the cheese spread so uh, these table crackers by far are the best value per ounce. So this is a seven ounce box. Um, so 
these are always the most cost effective in the grocery store except for like the crappy rice cr crackers sometimes those are a little more cost effective but these are always my preference to have with cheese grabbed some gluten-free baguettes and these are just a favorite brand of mine um i can purchase them here but they were a buck less expensive than they are at my grocery store so that was an easy decision grabbed some bun fins i don't know if that was a matthew impulse buy but they've got the marshmallow bits in there so um i also got some rainer cherries rainier cherries i don't actually know how to pronounce them um, but these are some of my absolute favorite, and this is the first I've seen them this season at a reasonable price. Um, as they're kind of coming in season, they are like eight or nine dollars a pound. These were something like four ninety nine, three ninety nine a pound. So really good deal on those, and always thrilled to have those in the summer. So exciting! This is an Indian snack food that I had never had before. I actually saw one of my favorite YouTubers um, enjoy these. Um, for those of us who are gluten-free so these are produced in a facility that um does process wheat so if you're celiac obviously don't eat these um but they have uh, chickpea flour canola oil salt spices natural flavor which is another one you just can't be sure of um if you are very gluten intolerant uh some acid baking soda and some jalapeno peppers so i've never had them before but i hear they're very addictive and delicious and you know reasonably healthy for a deep fried crunchy snack Matthew is a huge root beer guy. So we got some stuff we've never seen before to try out. Uh, this Bedford, Bedford's. Uh, Jungle Gems actually manufactures their own root beer, so excited to give that a go. It's, it's roaring root beer, in case you're wondering. How funny is that? We have Red Ribbon root beer. A Route 66. We went ahead and got a the six pack. This one I thought was too funny to not get. Judge for yourself, fruit beer. <laughs> so good, it should be banned. Probably not, if it's really good. So, judgment day cometh to those who have lost their fizz. <laughs> Love it. Love good marketing, especially on food products. And then Gail's root beer. So, we'll give that a go and see how it is. I also got some chow chow. Um, I don't know. You know, here in the Midwest, it is Amish country, and so chow chow is a part of our lives. Uh, it is a typically Amish dish, which this one is apparently made by the Amish as well. Um, let's see what this one has in it. It kind of varies regionally what's in your chow chow, but it's, in my opinion, always good. This one has cabbage, water, vinegar, sugar, onion, red peppers, green jalapeno, peppers, salt, turmeric, and spices. So this is great on sandwiches, hot dogs, you know, any sort of sausage situation just really enhances a dish and gives it a little freshness and vinegar pop, which a lot of food can use. Not even remotely exciting, but we did find gloves, latex gloves, which have been nearly impossible to find around here. Uh, so grateful to have found a package of those uh, just to add to the added safeness around the COVID. Matthew also got these uh, white chocolate dipped Oreo cookies. There those are. He loves white chocolate anything, so he'll be thrilled by those, I'm sure. Um, we did go into the cheap booze bin <laughs> and found some things. So we're gonna give these Chi Chi's margaritas a try. We got a, I got a margarita, a plain margarita, and then I also got myself a pineapple margarita. And Matthew got himself a couple of Long Island iced teas, which is his poison of choice. I grabbed a brown sugar cinnamon Torani syrup. Uh, this will go in my iced coffee and hot coffee for the rest of the summer. And I just love having this stuff on hand. It really makes it feel like you don't have to go into a Starbucks. Like this is, this and a good quality cup of coffee with some milk, especially if it's frothed, is just such a treat. So I'm so happy to have that. Um, and then a trip to Jungle Gems would not be complete without a little bit of booze. Um, the Dark Horse Rosé was on sale. Uh, nothing actually that special there, but uh, always happy to get a good deal on one of my favorites. Uh, we were actually supposed to go to the Biltmore this weekend, um, but canceled the trip because of COVID. So um, we decided to get some, or I decided to get some Biltmore State wines while we were there. Uh, this red blend is phenomenal. It is one of my absolute favorite wines. Um, it's just a really good, easy sipping, delicious bottle of red. Um, it'll go with just about anything. It's light enough. Um, 
So yeah, if you read the ingredients, this is why it's my favorite. Though the first uh, first grape is Sangiovese, which is my all-time favorite grape. Merlot, Zin, um, medium-bodied fruit-forward wine with richly layered aromas and a lingering finish. Don't you just love wine descriptions? Makes my heart happy. And then finally we got, ooh, finally we got the Biltmore Zinfandel Blanc de Noir. Um, never had this one before, but it just kind of sounded light and refreshing. And as it is summer, that sounded like a good idea. So that brings us to the end of today's Jungle Gym haul. I hope you enjoyed having a little a little road trip with me. Uh, it was really a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't been there in probably a year and a half. It's been a while and uh, it really is just such a fun place to go and explore. So if you're ever near uh, Fairfield, Ohio, which is where it's located, I do recommend that you go ahead and, and make your way over there, even if you're, you know, a little bit of a drive. Uh, it's just it's spectacular. It's such a cool place to go. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on this video, I sure would appreciate it. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one.